Alright, in this video I want to do a quick little derivation and I want to prove to you why little delta, which is the deflection angle, is equal to alpha over 2. And I'm going to do it for a case where alpha is actually equal to delta, big delta. And you may ask, oh, when is that true? Well, it's true when the line you're studying or the point you're trying to stake out is the EC, okay? So you're, you're over here and you're plotting or you're finding the deflection angles for all the points where my marker is intersecting the horizontal curve and at the point where that line or that marker becomes this line, uh, which is the line from BC to EC, alpha becomes delta, right? Because, uh, or big delta, right? Big delta is the interior angle here, right? So let's say uh, if you had a, let's, let's say you had a point right here, if you drew a line here, then that would be delta, right? That would be delta. And you keep, keep going, and delta would keep increasing until eventually this blue dotted line becomes this line right here. And in that instance, um, alpha is equal to your interior angle, big delta, right? So the deflection angle is this angle right here, and I'm going to call that little delta, right? Now, since the tangent lines are obviously tangent to the circle, and these this this orange line here is actually the base of this bigger triangle over here. Well, if two lines intersect here and they touch and they are the tangent lines of two points on a circle, then that means this this side and this side, these this length and this length um, are of equal lengths, and you have this base length here. So, oh look, well you have an isosceles triangle, right? An isosceles triangle, by definition, is a triangle that has two equivalent sides, or two sides that are um, equal in length. And therefore, you'll have two angles. The base angles will be similar in, in, in measurement, right? So, really, you have a deflection angle here, delta, and since this is an isosceles triangle, this angle here is delta, right? From our discussion on um, horizontal curves, we know that if we extended these tangent lines out, right, tangent lines out, this would be the PI, PI, which is your point of intersection. We know um, from that discussion that this angle here is big delta, right? This angle here is this angle here, right, big delta. So, if I said that this angle was big delta, well, this angle would have to be 180 degrees minus big delta, right? This is a straight line, and we have another line um, intersecting this, and this angle is simply 180 degrees minus this delta angle here, right? And from geometry and trigonometry, we know that the sum of all the angles within a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, right? So if I said the sum of the angles within this isosceles triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we can actually prove that delta, little delta, or the deflection angle is equal to alpha over 2 in the case where alpha is equal to delta, right? So if I said 180 degrees, that's the that's the sum of all the angles within a triangle is equal to, well, you have this 180 degrees minus delta, and then you have a, a small delta deflection angle here, and then you have another delta angle here, right? So if I simplified this a bit, I'd have 180 degrees is equal to 180 minus big delta, or your interior angle, plus 2 delta, it's two lowercase delta, right, your deflection angle, you see that the 101 or 180 on both sides cancels out, 
and you're left with 0 is equal to 2 delta minus big delta, right? So if I added big delta to both sides, I should get delta, or big delta, interior angle is equal to 2 times the deflection angle. And if I solve for the deflection angle, I should get, well, delta over 2. And there's your proof. And this is in the case where alpha is equal to big delta. And you can do the same proof um, for any point along this curve. And if you want to try it out, feel free to do so. As long as you draw a tangent line, a tangent line to that point. And you can very well prove that this angle alpha, if you divide that by 2, you get the deflection angle, which is the angle there. Alright, so have fun with that.